Central Heights parents will know by week's end if their high school students will need to find another school come next semester. Our Derek Lewis was there as the Durham Charter School made its case to keep all of its classes intact. Wiping away tears, parents at Kestrel Heights listened to the fight to keep its high school. This is about children. And that's what makes me cry, because it just seems that no one is really considering the fate of these children. Zawadi Powell has to find her children another high school for next year. I don't see any other option for me, and I don't think that they're even considering me or my children at all. Last month, the State Board of Education granted Kestrel Heights a three-year charter for grades K through 8, while demanding the school close its high school this summer. This comes as an internal investigation found 160 graduates received diplomas they did not earn since 2008, including 22 last school year. Both the State Department of Public Institution and Kestrel Heights board members presented their cases today. Kestrel Heights Charter School has never understood its tremendous responsibility to properly educate students within their charge. And each and every time they have given us an issue, we have corrected it and put procedures in place that rectify that situation. The guidance counselor and principals responsible for the issue no longer work at the school, and parents think that's enough. They are asking for the State Board of Education to focus on the students impacted. They're so interested in the statues, they're so interested in the regulations, the rules, they're so worried about what precedent does this set for other schools, and they don't think about our children. The review panel gave both sides until tomorrow at noon to submit a summary of their arguments, a final decision on whether to close the high school for three years will be made on Thursday. In Raleigh, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina. Ahead, Fayetteville honors.